So should we check out her social media? Yeah, let's do it. Okay. Oh, she's got followers. Everybody loves her. Afro Prince. Four days ago, hmm, I see. Starstruck face. Click on his profile. Okay, okay. so. This guy is essentially one of her close friends. Yes. But he knows a little bit too much about Tommy for my liking. Well, yeah, that immediately makes him suspect number one. Exactly. So I say we message him and ask him to get on a call with us just so that we can clarify yeah. our suspicions. Yeah. We are helping out your friend, Elea. And we would love to speak to you about it if it's possible. Yes. yes. OK, so we've contacted suspect number one. So, obviously, in her email, she attached a bunch of pictures. All right, so there's him at the studio. And here's a picture of him just, like, candid on his own. Another one of him sort of looking like a DIY model shoot. Mm-hmm. Oh, someone's calling us. Hello. Hello. Is this Afro Prince? Yeah, this is Afro Prince. My name's Uber. I'm here with Nello we're from Hi. Catfish UK, um, and we're trying to help. We're trying to help out your friend Alea, who got in contact with us. What's up? What, what about? She's been speaking to a guy called Tommy. Has she ever mentioned him to you? Uh, no, 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 no. She has. She randomly brought up Tommy one time, and I was like, mm, yeah, okay. Obviously, he's straight, so I don't really give a fuck about him. <laughs> Well, she said, it's just a little bit different to what she said to us. She's just said that you brought up Tommy without her having mentioned it to you before. This girl told me she's met a guy called Tommy, and in relation to him, it was about music. Are you basically just saying that Alea's misremembered or that she's lying or what? What I'm telling you is she mentioned a guy called Tommy, and they've been to the studio together. They do music stuff together. You know, some music that's going to end up on SoundCloud with five listeners, something like that. That's not something you say about your friend's music. But it's like, where's the music going to go? Wait, thank you so much for, for, for helping us today. You've been really helpful. Thank you. Bye. It sounds like it's a toxic relationship between those two. He even said that his music doesn't even... Her There's music... no competition. It's just going to get five plays when it goes online. That's not a yes. nice thing to say. But, yeah, let's carry on. So, what else do we have here? She's attached a link to his workplace, I'm guessing. So let's click on that. It's an international talent booking agency? Should we just call him now? Hello. How can I help? Um, I just want you to ask um, if there's like a music manager that works um, at your agency called Tommy C. Uh, not, no, not that I know of, no. Okay, well, thank you so much for your help. No worries. Bye. It's made up. The whole thing with the management is completely made up. It's smelling fishy. Yeah. All right, so let's check out Tommy's modeling profile. What? We've clicked yeah. on his modeling profile, and literally in the URL, it says a different name to Tommy C. DeAndre So we've gone from Tommy C to DeAndre how many names does this guy go under? I don't feel like it was an obvious thing for Elia because when you go back to the email and check out the link that he sent his portfolio on, it's a tiny URL. So it's a link that's been made shorter, maybe yeah. to hide his real name. I think we should just search his name on social media. Yeah. That's the guy! <laughs> This might actually not be terrible for Alea. Maybe Tommy sees an alias. It looks like a real profile. It's got loads of friends. So if that name on his portfolio has led us to this guy's Facebook, we reach out to him and we ask him what's up. Yeah, sounds good. Yeah? Yeah. Hi, DeAndre. We're trying to help out a friend of ours called Alea and think you could be of help. 
uh, please get back in touch with us. And then I've put our number and just said thank you. Let's send it, man. <laughs>